The third clause of the standard is human resource security. This clause has three categories, and the first one is called prior to employment. There are six controls in this clause of which the first control is, screening. Screening is a human resource term that is also relevant in this standard, and it entails doing legitimate background checks on the candidates to be employed by an organization. This doesn't mean that every single position should be thoroughly checked, because this isn't very efficient or effective for organizations that hire thousands of employees and labor every year. The screening process should be proportional to the role and responsibilities that a candidate is going to be accountable for once employed. Higher positions with more critical responsibilities and with access to more sensitive and classified information should be more deeply checked, of course within what laws and regulations allow. The background check should include verifying that a person's identity, CV, academic qualifications, professional certifications, and competencies are all true and as claimed by the candidate. Having the right competencies to perform a certain job is crucial to its success. An organization should make sure that a person who would be entrusted with critical information is up to the task, and wouldn't be a risk that could jeopardize the organization's mission and objectives. Criminal records and proven references are a measure to verify the integrity of a candidate, although not absolute. A screening process should be done by a knowledgeable HR personnel, and should be documented, to avoid any discrepancies later on. This screening process should also be extended to third parties, such as contractors and suppliers. Although there should be a trust level that a third party will be fulfilling its part as per agreement, having more details about their personnel that would be involved in critical operations provides more assurance.